Hey guys, hope your day is going well. Just a follow up from my homebrew update video I did yesterday in that I mentioned I was getting some reusable beer labels and as luck would have it they arrive today so I thought I'd do a quick video and you can um, have a look at them and, and I'm going to put one on the bottle um, and we'll, we'll have a look see how it works and then uh, yeah I can give you a, a recommendation on whether they actually do the job or not. So the website is beerclings.com and they have lots of standard um, designs available. Um, I've chosen some which have a blank banner area so I can write in the name of my beer. They also have um, some other designs that don't, don't have the banner. And also on top of that you can actually upload your own designs. Um, obviously that's going to cost a bit more but um, if you want to do that you, you can do that. So anyway, they come in sheets of 12, and I've got two sheets of the same one there, because I quite like the look of that one. Also got a got this one here, which I thought looked pretty good, and finally this one here. So as I say, they're reusable, so they don't have an adhesive as such, they're a, they're a vinyl label, and the way they stick to the bottle according to the website, is uh, through static um, electricity or static cling. So I've written on a label already, well, actually I should mention, um, I bought these pens from the website as well, they're a special pen um, which writes on the vinyl label, and then apparently you can just remove the writing with a paper towel. So that, so that writing's there, it's not, it's not rubbing off, so that's good to see while you're handling the bottle you're not going to get stuff all over your hands. So I'll just put the camera down and then we'll apply that label to the bottle. Okay so I've got a bottle of my um, Cooper Centennial Draft here and we'll just peel this label off. Okay so there it is there. It just says on the instructions to make sure that the bottle is clean and dry which it is. So I'll just that on there, straighten it up. Okay. Okay, well that that's that's sticking there well. I can't actually slide the label down. I probably could do with quite a bit of force, but it's actually stuck there quite well. So yeah, that's that's looking pretty good. Definitely looks better than the old plain brown bottle. And it, it, this is obviously um, a plastic bottle, but it, it'll work equally well on glass. Um, the other thing the instruction says that um, once you put the bottle into the fridge it will actually cling better and I, what I'm suspecting will happen is as the beer cools down and the vinyl gets colder it's actually going to contract slightly and, and possibly cling to the bottle better. So what I might do is I'll cut there and then put this bottle into the fridge and then we'll come back in a couple of hours see how the label's going. Okay I'm back the beer has been in the fridge for about two and a half, three hours. So it's um, nice and cold, condensation on the outside, and on the label as well. The writing's still fine, no signs of it um, rubbing off. Um, yeah, as far as the label cling, clinging to the bottle, it looks, looks really good actually. And there's no sign of it lifting off at all. So no, I'm very, very happy with that. Um, it says in the instructions to remove it, you just need to pop your fingernail under the edge of the label and it should just um, come off. There we go. So yeah, looks like it's nice and easy to remove again. So no, very happy with that. Um, if you guys got any questions, just um, feel free to let me know and I'll put the link to the Bear Clings website below. And we'll catch you next time. Cheers, guys. Thanks.